Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. O oh, sacred heart, O oh, Lord, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, the heart of our Savior that is the only source of healing and salvation for our wounded humanity. Today also, we specially pray for our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula as we commemorate his first year anniversary of his installation as Archbishop of Manila. We pray that God may continue to give him fruitfulness in his pastoral ministry as our Father in the Archdiocese. Let us also pray for all priests, that priests may be sanctified 
and be given the heart of the Good Shepherd. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son, and recall the wonders of His love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep, as a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep. So will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I will lead them out from among the peoples and gather them from the foreign lands. I will bring them back to their own country and pasture them upon the mountains of Israel in the land's ravines and all its inhabited places. In good pastures will I pasture them and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing ground. There they shall lie down on good grazing ground, and in rich pastures shall they be pastured on the mountains of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to the Pharisees and scribes. What man among you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. 
Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today this great devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the readings today, in the readings today, God seems to want us to focus on the woundedness of humanity. In the three readings that we have heard that was proclaimed to us, we hear of the wounded. In our first reading today, from the prophet Ezekiel, we hear about the scattered flock, the scattered sheep. They are suffering, they are lost, they are hungry. The wounded sheep, the wounded flock. And we hear in our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, sinners, we as sinners, we as ungodly, we who have become enemies of God. And in the gospel reading today, we hear of the one lost sheep. And what or who can save the lost sheep, the scattered sheep, the sinner, and the ungodly person? Only a shepherd with a heart. Only with a heart can God heal and save wounded humanity. Only by having a heart can God heal our wounded humanity. God reminds us today, we have inflicted wounds to each other because we have become heartless. That is why the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus tells us, only with a heart can we become healers of humanity. Itinuturo po sa atin ng Panginoon ngayon, mahalaga ang puso. Nagkakandasugat-sugat ang sangkatauhan Dahil wala na tayong puso. At kapag ibinalik lang natin ang puso, dyan manggagaling ang kagalingan ng sugat ng bawat isa. We are celebrating today the first year, first anniversary of Cardinal Advincula as our Archbishop. He was installed last year, June 24, 2021. And just recently, he passed a, uh, uh, a legislation in the Archdiocese of Manila. Siguro po, Baka marami sa inyo dito o kaya sa mga nakikinig sa atin sa, sa live streaming ngayon, baka may karanasan kayo o alam nyo yung karanasan na nagpapakorek ng baptismal certificate. No, baka narinig nyo na yan, lalo sa mga ikakasal. At nakakaawa sila minsan, no? kasi hindi naman nila mali. 
minsan may nagpakorek ng baptismal. Kasi sa birth certificate, ang kanyang Maria ay kumpleto. M-A-R-I-A. Pero pagdating sa baptismal certificate, M-A period. No? Nako, kapag ganyan pala na mali, pupunta ka pa dito sa opisina, pupunta ka pa sa chancery, kukuha ka ng kahit kung ano-anong affidavit. Sabi ko, kawawa naman sila. No? <laughs> Hindi naman nila mali, pero hirap na hirap sila para lang magpakorek ng spelling ng baptismal certificate. Just recently, Cardinal Advincula said, you can do the corrections on your baptismal certificates on your parishes. You do not need to go to the chancery here in Intramuros, at least in the Archdiocese of Manila. You know, Cardinal Advincula is a canon lawyer. He studied in Rome to be for his licensure in canon law. He is supposed to be strict. But he is a canon lawyer with a heart. We can only heal wounded humanity if we bring back the heart of Jesus. And can you imagine if we bring back the heart in every aspect of our lives? Can you imagine the leaders of nations deciding and thinking with the heart? Do you think there will be wars? Do you think countries will drop bombs to each other if they only have a heart? Sa tingin nyo ba, maggegera pa ang mga bayan dahil lang sa teritoryo kung gagamitin ang puso kung makikita nila ang mga inosenteng tao na napapatay dahil sa digmaan. Can you imagine economists with hearts? Can you imagine our politicians with hearts? Can you imagine our security forces thinking and deciding with their hearts. There will be less woundedness if there is a heart. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not be afraid of thinking, of feeling, of deciding with our hearts. Because God has a heart. And we are created in the image and likeness of God. We are given a heart because our Creator has a heart. And we become more like God if we use our hearts. So let us bring back the heart Become a father with a heart. Become a child of your parents with your heart. If you are working in the Comelec, bring back the heart in Comelec. If you are working in the government, bring back the heart in the government. If you are working in hospitals, bring back the heart in medical care. That is how we will heal our wounded humanity. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our celebration of the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, let us be reminded that only with the heart can God save and heal our humanity. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith.
I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We can pray to the Father with great confidence because in Christ, He has set His heart upon us. For every petition, let us say, Fill us with your love, Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That the Catholic Church may be a credible sign and instrument of Christ's love, let us pray to the Lord. Fill, Fill us with your, your love, Lord. That families may live in true love and mutual understanding, let us pray to the Lord. Fill, Fill us with your love, Lord. That those who labor and are overburdened may find rest in the generous heart of our Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Fill, Fill us with your love, Lord. That the sick may know the love of Christ, as they unite themselves with the suffering of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That the dead may find eternal joy in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Merciful Father, receive these prayers we offer in union with the pierced heart of your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, 
that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from His pierced side the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen. 
Las dueñas, que hizo de nuestros montes, tu celestial enseñas, las puertas del infierno no prevalecerán, no más amor que el tuyo. Son divino, el pueblo filipino te da su corazón en templos y en hogares. Te invoque nuestra lengua, tú reinarás sin mengua de aparí. Hasta o most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.